and welcome back to Mojo's Money. My name is Lacey and today we have the first sinking funds cash stuffing of January 2023. <laughs> I'm really excited to use my new binder and my new general setup for my low and high priority sinking funds as well as my new savings challenges. So everyone, I hope that you will join me for this ride. I've got all my money over here including some prop money because I am going to be cash stuffing my bonus, but it was so such a large amount of money, I decided to keep some of it in the bank and go ahead and use prop holders for the larger amount so that I don't have that much cash in my house and then have to immediately take it back to the bank at the end of the month. So, first of all, let's move the binders aside for a second. We've got Lulu Lama. She says, hi, everyone. She is sticking around for now. I don't know what I'm planning to do with her, but here she is. <laughs> okay, let me zoom in so that we can see our budget spreadsheet. So I've got some new things on here. We have all of our sinking funds listed on this side, as well as all of their goals. So as far as we've got our traditional ones that we had had last year, emergency fund, new car, Orlando, mortgage, fridge, Christmas, veterinary. Now our new ones, we have certification exam with a goal of 500. Remodel. Um, I took some tips from you guys on some comments about how much I should put for this remodel and I ended up with 3,500 as a goal. Investment property, we are still keeping bedroom furniture. I changed to just furniture, if you remember from my binder reset video. Still have home security, washer, dryer, welcome tablet. We're adding RV, electric bikes, clothing and tires, with my clothing being a thousand goal, electric bikes being 5,000, RV being 60,000, and tires being 800. Obviously these ginormous amounts, I don't plan to reach like anytime soon. This is just like a ballpark goal eventually. And then, we have my bonus stuffing, yay! So my bonus amount was $2,885. Let me scoot this up just a little wee bit, there we go. And to that amount went the emergency fund or finishing the 100 envelope stuffing and therefore the 100 envelope challenge was $1,140. We've already seen that, that's already gone. But today you will see how the fridge is getting $760 to finish the fridge, woo! And then <laughs> Remodel is getting the remainder of that $985 to give that a good jump start so we can go ahead and start working on that. Then if we go over here for my actual cash shoving for the first paycheck of January, I'm only putting $180 into the new 80 envelope challenge box. So I used a random number generator rather than starting with the highest envelopes like I did when I did the 100 envelope challenge last time. So my random number generator came up with the 60, the 14, the 71, and the 26 envelope. And this is the amounts I'm going to put in there because I like to round up because I don't want all those ones. And yeah, so then I had all this money left because I have a total of $514 that are going to sinking funds from my regular budget that I could put towards other things. So a new car, Lando, mortgage is now going to be getting $35 per pay period. Fridge, since I already put 760 from the bonus, it is now fully funded, I don't have to put anything else. Then I'm going to be putting 75 for next year's Christmas, or well, I guess this year, <laughs> now that's 2023. Certification or exam, oh, I'm sorry, veterinary is getting 10, certification exam 25, remodel 94 was what was left, and then my lower priority guys are only gonna get $5 each. There I have my cash breakdown. And then totals, if you will notice, my new total after adding all of the money from the 100 envelope savings challenge box, and I spent about $200 on post-Christmas shopping just for funsies because why save a bunch of money if you can never spend any money? It is $6,849, yay! So we have a significant chunk in our emergency fund now and we can rest easier at night. Then anything else of note? No, not really. We will go over all of this as we go along during our cash stuffing. So here we go. Oh, my allergies have just been truly horrendous, everyone. I apologize that if my voice sounds weird. Let's start with my high priority sinking funds binder because it's gonna be the most fun. Have my little pretty heart pin, safety pin, not safety pin, oh my gosh, paper clip from Budget with Free. And this is the cash tray from Budget with Free, crafted by Free is her Etsy shop. If you ever wanna check her out, I'll link her channel below. Put this binder up here for now. New car fund is where we are starting today. The new car fund is getting $35. 
Ah, uh, yes. Okay, so I have this and these to fill out. I gotta get my pen now. Getting used to new things is hard, y'all. So 20, 30, and 5 is what we're getting in this one. This is an ugly 5. Okay, and now we can count it up. We have 50, 100, 50, 200, 50, 300, 50, 400, 50, 500, 520, 540, 550, 55, 560. Yay, $560, not quite enough to color a car on my new car, Trekker. 686 is the amount on this, but we're getting there ever so slowly. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not stuffing this until Sunday, January the 8th. I'm a little bit behind, but that's because I had a lot of other videos going on with my 100 envelope challenge box and my end of year YouTube wrap up. Oh, I don't have to dry that now because <laughs> it's a pin. That's funny. But yeah, if you haven't seen those videos, please go check them out. They were super fun to make, a little bit different than my usual content. The Orlando Trip Fund is getting 15. So 10 and five. So we currently have 100, 200, 300 in the bank. Then we have 10, 20, and 5. $325 currently in the Orlando Trip Fund. I made this for my vacation tracker. Actually, this is not, oh, you know what? This is not on sale on my Etsy shop because of the marketing symbols, trademarky type situations going on, but I can make one. I plan to make one this year that is not going to have some of those things on it and be more generic for just vacation in general, but because we're going to Universal, that's why I have some of these <laughs> symbols on here. But anyways, each symbol for this, because my goal was $6,000, is 240, so when I reach 480, I can color in my next one. And my Etsy shop will be linked below. Also, certification exam. This is a new one. It's getting $25 today. It is empty. And that means each, of, each sun is 17, so we are going to get to color in a sun on the sunny Sunday. Yay! My yellow marker, and I hope you can see this good on camera. There's our first sun for sunny Sunday. Yay! The markers that I use are vis vis wet erase markers, so hopefully they do not come off. <laughs> when they go in the envelopes, although some of them do rub off, as you have seen with my envelope reset. They do rub off eventually. Renovation! Okay, so now we get to denote what we are going to put on this renovation remodel tracker here. Because we know our goal. And today it is getting quite a bit of money. It is getting 985 from the bonus and 94 from the regular check. So let's add that up. 985 plus 94, 1,079. Okay, awesome. And then 900 of that is prop monies. So let's put on here, if it's 3,500 is our goal, we, let's make the, each of these lines 1,000 and then this one a 1,500. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one thousand divided by seven. Let's make it easy. Each of the hats will be 150. Then each of these guys, each of the hammers will be 90. And then that means each of the boots, let's make it easy. We're gonna put it as 
rates of 187. We'll put them at one, and we'll put them at 200. So it'll actually end up being a little bit more if we fill in the whole tracker. So we said that today on one slash eight, we're adding 1,079 for a total of $1,079. And that means we get to color in this whole first row. Yay. So let's get red because the tracker is red and color in these hats. Can you guys see that? Maybe I need to put it up here. So these small colorable trackers were made by Jordan Budgets. I, I will link her shop down below too. I bought this along with a few other ones in a bundle and then had her print them. I paid the extra to have her print them on cardstock, excuse me, and mail them to me. And then I laminated them so that I could reuse them because I love them. And I have a lot of house renos that I plan to do, so I will definitely be reusing it. Okay, yay! I didn't really think I was going to get to fill in so many of the little trackers today, so that's fun. We're going to let that dry, and while we're doing that, let us get... We have 500, 600, 700. Let's use my mojo dollars up. 800, 900. Put Larry on top so I can use him next. So definitely 900 is going in there. It is already in the bank. I mean, yes, already in the bank. And then we had 85 and 94 was what was going in there. That's confusing. Let's see <laughs> what I can do about this. So we had 50. Let's do them separately. So 50, 70, 80, and five. And then we had 94 going in there. Just so, the reason why I, I am doing it this way is because I want my denominations to be correct when I go to stuff the other things because this is how I calculated it up in my cash flow. I mean, in my cash breakdown. Probably not the best idea, but then we had 94. So 50, 70, 90, one, two, three, four. Okay, cool. Now, let us put all of this together and make sure we have 1,079 total dollars. So 500, 600, 700, 800, 900. 950, 1,000, 1,020, 40, 60, 75, 6, 7, 8, 9. Okay, 1,079. Yay! That is fully stuffed in the remodel. At the end of the month, I'll take all that out. And um, Bill exchanged that last 100 also, but I probably am going to be adding some more in my next paycheck. I don't know when we're going to start the reno, when I'm going to be withdrawing, but we'll see how it goes. Next we have the Christmas fund, yay! This is gonna be fun to restart and now I have a colorable tracker this year. The Christmas fund is getting $75. We do get to color in a thing, but only one because 38 times two is 76. <laughs> so Christmas, let's make him green to contrast the red. Yeah, okay, that's really fun. I love the colorable trackers. So here's 50, 70, and five. But we're starting out for Christmas next year. We are getting prepped, y'all. I upped my goal a little bit this year. 
for Christmas to $1,500 because $1,000 was just not quite enough, but it was almost enough. So probably $1,500 will be a little bit much with inflation. Who knows? The mortgage fund for extra principal payments on my mortgage. Today it's getting $35. I don't have a tracker for this. That's colorable anyway. Just my written tracker. Twenty thirty and five, and the fridge. Okay, this is going to be fun because it is getting fully funded now. So let's go ahead and talk about more shameless plugs. The fridge trucker. <laughs> I did make this one myself. I drew it. It's. Um, I think it's cute. It can also just be used as a coloring sheet um, if you're just talking about different foods and things like that. But I made it into a savings challenge. This for my goal was $1,800 and each item is $90. I had 1046 in there and now that it has $1,800, I get to color in the rest of my items. Yay! So let us get out my new highlighters to color with. And I'm going to move the money so I don't accidentally color it. <laughs> Although these are no bleed through. Okay, for our soda bottle back there, let's make him green. Ginger ale vibes there. And then this jar of unknown substances. And onto our carrots. I'm gonna have to get out my old ones to make this uh, lovely orange color that I made on this peach up here. Color over that green too. Make it a little brighter. There we go. And my broccoli as well. We're over here. Edit. This squash, he is going to be yellow. Let's purple out for this beet. Hmm, tomato. kind of reddish right so you guys I finished my fridge tracker yay all $1,800 is going to be stuffed in there today and I may return to this in the future but I will link my Etsy shop below it's just a digital printable it's only listed for a dollar it didn't take me that long to make so it's priced accordingly but I really enjoyed using it I thought it was cute and I'm going to be buying this fridge soon so let us get let me write this down first. So that makes it 1806 is what's going to be in here after I stuff these 760, 700 of which is already in the bank. Get to use my Larry dollars from Hands and Bands. So there's 700 and then 60, so 50 and 60. So let's make sure this is 1806, like I had said. So we have 1,500, 600, 700, 750, 1750, 1770, 1790, 1800, 1805, 1806. Awesome. Okay, 1,806 dollars is now in the fridge fund. Yay! And when I do my bill exchange, I will take these bills to the bank so that I can purchase the fridge. It is currently on sale 
I'm going to, I plan to get a Samsung one from the actual Samsung web, website. They will come deliver it to your house and haul off your old one and install your new one. And that is worth it to me. Now the veterinary. So the veterinary, we don't have to change this in some point in the future, but we're going to stick with our current goal of just getting it for the cat's shots. And we're going to cash flow our new puppy scouts shots. But, so my goal for this was $150. I currently have $65 in here. So that means I need roughly 85-ish 80, dollars left. And I wanted to do my Magical Mayhem. I literally bought this last May. I forgot that I had it in a drawer. I bought this from Alicia from Hands and Bands and I have my little Larry stickers that I wanted to stick on here for anything that I got over that 50. So for my last $100, so I've already got 65 in there, so I need to go ahead and put 15 on there. Gonna get little Larry on here. So there's 10, and we gotta we gotta switch our colors up here. And five and then today we are adding ten so let's get our next ten put him on there too yay how cute and we'll add our ten so that means now we are up to 75 in this fund 50 60 75 halfway through and I just want to get it before the summer okay there's my high priority envelopes now we can move on to our low priority binder everything in here is getting five dollars So in investment property, I have $100 in my Capital One 360 high yield savings account, which made 17 cents in the first month of interest. Not just a ginormous amount, but it's something more than it was making in this envelope. <laughs> so 100, 10, and 15 is what we have in there now. Furniture is also getting five. We might be using this soon because we're going to be going on a trip to a place that there is um, an Ikea nearby and I want to go check it out. So now in this we have 20, 30, 35, 40, 41, and 42. Maybe next paycheck I will up this fund a significant amount so that we can go check that out. Home security fund, five, getting $5, like I said. Twenty-five, six, seven. Washer dryer fund getting five. Oh, I have a little tracker in here, but I don't think there's going to be enough, so yeah. After I add five, it'll be $60, 50, 55, and 60, but I have to have 67 to color in a washer or dryer. Welcome tablet fund. <laughs> that five is just barely folded on the end. Now we have 20, 25, 30, 31, 32. RV fund starting with nothing, getting five. Oh, 
electric bikes, also starting with nothing but getting five. Oops. All of the envelopes in my red binder, I'm calling them low priority, like I do want to eventually fill them up, but they're more like fun things that are not totally necessarily for my life, totally, or not like right, right this second. And that's why I consider them to be lower priority. Like clothing. I have a lot of clothes, but sometimes your clothes wear out and your style changes or you change sizes, what have you. It's start, yeah, starting with zero and it's getting five. Ah, I get to color in a little thing on my clothing um, coloring challenge. Yay! orange marker and color in this five. And then last but not least, our new tires. I don't need them right now, but they are very expensive and I want to slowly start saving up for them. So $5 today. Okay, you guys, we've officially completed it. This video is probably extremely long. <laughs> It will get better as I go. Everyone say hi to Larry in the back. <laughs> Sleeping in the back of the binder. I want to thank everyone for joining me today and sticking with me for this longer than usual Sinking Funds cash stuffing. As I get used to my new system and my new setup. But I had a lot of fun. I really like my new setup. I like how it's working. And I just wanted to say if you do like this type of content, don't forget to like the video. Leave me a comment down below. If you want to say hi or you have something to uh, comment about, let's see, what can the question of the day be? Ah, question of the day. Did you try any new sinking funds for the new year? Oh, also, if you like this type of budgeting, personal finance, sinking funds, cash stuff and content, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And everyone, have a great day. Bye.